Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today in this video we will tell you how to get rid of swelling in the legs in patient with kidney failure. Dear friends, swelling in leg is one of the common symptoms in kidney failure patients. As you know, the kidney filters out waste material like urea, creatinine, potassium and sodium. In addition, it also removes excess fluid from the body. Unfortunately, when kidneys are underperforming, they fail to perform these tasks. As a result, the fluid starts accumulating inside the body. Now, you might be wondering why this fluid causes swelling in the legs only. Let me tell you that excess fluid ultimately accumulate in the leg region because of the gravitational property of the earth and this accumulation causes swelling in the legs. In this video, we will discuss in detail all the possibility causes of leg swelling. We will also discuss how we can control it. Watch this video till the end. I assure you, it will help a lot. Let's start. Guys, to cure a disease, first of all, we need to know what causes it. As you already know, the leg swelling occurs due to the accumulation of fluid in the leg region. Now, there are so many factors responsible for this accumulation and the primary factor is protein deficiency. Friends, when the kidney is not working efficiently, it fails to hold the protein inside the body and the protein starts to come out through urine. The regular loss of protein causes protein deficiency. This protein deficiency causes the accumulation of water in the body. Further, due to gravity, this water is accumulated in the leg region and causes leg swelling. Now comes the next question. How can we control this deficiency of protein? Guys, it's essential to fulfill this loss. And for that, the patient needs to intake food that are very rich in protein and have a very high absorption rate. Some examples are egg white and moong dal. If you are a vegetarian, moong dal pulse is the perfect source. And for non-vegetarian people, egg white is an excellent source. Both these are almost 100% absorbed in the body. Moreover, they don't create any waste material like creatinine and urea in the body. That is why we advise patients to go for these two protein sources only. Another reason for leg swelling is sodium. Basically, sodium is an electrolyte that causes the accumulation of fluid. So, that is why we need to control the intake of sodium. And for that, we need to know about its sources. Guys, the primary source of sodium is the common salt that we use in our homes. So, we have to decrease the salt intake to a great extent. We have to make sure that a patient suffering from leg swelling takes nearly saltless diet. It will help the patient to control the blood pressure as well. One more thing, when the amount of fluid is accumulating in the body, of a kidney failure patient, we also have to reduce the fluid intake. Can you guess how it will help? It's simple. Suppose the patient takes a lesser amount of fluid and discharge more fluid. What will happen? Yeah, due to this deficiency in fluid intake and discharge, the body will lose the excess fluids. This way, it will help to control the swelling of the legs. But all these are temporary methods to control leg swelling. We also have a permanent solution that can help control creatinine, urea and fluids altogether. And that is to increase the functioning of kidneys. Friends, the role of kidney is to filter out waste material like creatinine, urea and excess fluids from the body. But when a patient suffers from kidney failure, the kidney fails to perform this task efficiently. So, if you see the best method to get rid of any disease due to kidney failure is to increase the functionality of the kidneys. As soon as the function of the kidney increases, the amount of urea, potassium, sodium and creatinine will all decrease. Keeping in mind all this, we provide a particular type of treatment that is KFRT. 
kidney function restoration treatment. Let's understand it. In this treatment, we work on the root cause of kidney failure. As you know, your kidney can fail to perform due to reasons like high BP, high sugar or any genetic disorders. So we start with the treatment of that particular reason. Our medicines work directly on nephrons which are the basic filtration units in the kidneys. So for example, if you are suffering from kidney failure due to hypertension, our first aim will be to reduce your hypertension. Do you remember what happens when the blood enters your kidney with high pressure? Well, it causes damage to the walls of the kidneys. That is why if we want to improve the working of kidneys, we have to control the blood pressure first. Once your blood pressure becomes normal, there will be no further damage to the kidneys. Again, suppose you are suffering from kidney failure due to diabetes. In that case, first of all, we will control your diabetes. This way, by maintaining your sugar level, we can make sure that there is no further damage to the kidneys. So, this was all about KFRT. Now, as we know, kidneys help to filter out waste material from the body. So, after kidney function improves, we can clearly notice the results. Urine output increases, amount of creatinine, urea, sodium and potassium in body decreases. Moreover, GFR is also improved. If you don't know what GFR is, remember, it's a test that is carried out to measure remaining kidney function. So, now you know, KFRT causes permanent relief in the body. With the help of KFRT, we can get rid of all kidney problems together instead of controlling them one by one. It will help manage everything including creatinine, urea, potassium and excess fluids. I hope you understand why your leg swells and how you can control it. If you still have any doubt or queries, you can call our consultant on the helpline numbers. They will analyze your condition and provide you with the best solution free of cost. Before you leave, subscribe to our channel. See you soon in our next video. Till then, take good care of your health. Thank you.